Hi guys, this is just going to be a quick comparison in performance between the Firefox 7 Beta, which came out a few days ago, and the stable version of Firefox 6. Firefox 7 doesn't seem to have as many major feature improvements over Firefox 6 as Firefox 6 did over number 5. The main feature touted by Mozilla is that Firefox 7 is supposed to be able to manage its memory uh, utilization much better in that the same web pages on Firefox 6 will use up more RAM than the equivalent pages in Firefox 7 so if you have got you know, if got a small amount of RAM on your computer this will be a good feature for you so how this video is going to work is I've already recorded a few tests, ACID test, SunSpider test and a multiple tab test on the Firefox 6 stable version yesterday I installed Firefox 7 today, the you know the beta version and unfortunately it does actually overwrite your previous version so I cannot now go uh, onto Firefox 6 unless I uninstall it and then reinstall Firefox 6 so you can't compare the two side by side so what I'll do, I'll just splice this video up I'll do, um, now I'll, you know, for example, open it and compare maybe the tab browsing and I'll splice in the video of the Firefox 6 uh, tab browsing and we'll see what the memory utilization is of both so this is going to be it so hopefully you can remember, see if it uh, starts up any quicker as well. So I'll press enter now. Seems to be about the same. So the first one of the first tests I did was an acid test. The acid 3 test. Now this takes quite a while to do, so on both of them I'll cut out a bit, so you have to sit through a minute of uh, stuff on the screen. Okay, and then the final test I did was I opened up a few resource heavy websites, you know, they've got lots of pictures and stuff, YouTube, Amazon, Eurogamer, and RFI, which is like a French news uh, organisation. Just wait for them to load all the pictures and adverts and stuff like that. And then I press Control or Delete, and I'll open up Task Manager. And we'll see, uh, we'll wait a few seconds because sometimes it goes up and down, we'll just see what the average is. So it seems to be about 136,500 uh, kilobytes. Both Firefox 6 and Firefox 7 get the same score on the acid test, which is 97. Uh, in comparison, Chrome gets 100 still. Uh, we found out it must be a bug because SunSpider on Firefox 6 gets sub 300 quite easily uh, milliseconds, but Firefox 7 gets over 500. So I think that must be some kind of bug, and hopefully it will be fixed in a future edition because you can't have the uh, successor to a piece of software getting you know a score over twice as bad as its predecessor, so hopefully that's just a bug. But what's more, most interesting, um, if you go back a few minutes, you can see that the memory utilization is actually much better in Firefox 7 than Firefox 6, and that's good because that is the main feature they're touting um, over Firefox 6. And I think on Firefox 6, it was approaching 190,000 uh, plus kilobytes, yet on Firefox uh, 7, it was, uh, you know, sub 140,000, it was about 135,000, so it's gone down by at least 30%, which is, you know, the memory utilization for the same prog uh, same tabs, the same uh, browsing experience, so uh, a PC with a small, a small amount of RAM, then this is definitely good news uh, for those who think that Firefox is a bit of a memory uh, hogger. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. Subscribe, rate, and comment if you think, I sh you know, 
if you think that um, Firefox 7 is actually better than Firefox 6.